Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to the Things Conference. My name is Wienke Giesman, CEO and co-founder of the Things Industries. And we're going to have one day all about Laura Wen and smart facilities and compliancy. And um, we want to welcome you all, welcome you all, all here uh, in this opening keynote. Um, we do this together with a great set of partners. Um, so you can see them all here, Semtech, uh, ST Micro Facility, Tactelic, Agenza, Decent Lab, and ECBM. Uh, and they will also be presenting and showcasing all their solutions uh, uh, using LoRaWAN in the segment of compliancy and smart facilities. So what do we have in store for you? Um, uh, we're going to start off with Safecility uh, that's going to tell uh, all about their, their use cases. Uh, ST, um, with their new STM32WL product, will uh, tell you how they are progressing. They just launched it, but uh, they already have some exciting news to, to show. Um, next up, we uh, have uh, Decent Lab. Um, they are well known for all their uh, condition monitoring products, and uh, uh, you can explore this wide range of sensors and, and how they deploy it with uh, their customers. Um, then further, we have Akenza, Semtech, uh, ECBM, um, uh, uh, and we have a program full uh, packed with uh, a, LTM showcases together with Deutsche Telekom, uh, and we'll guide you through some of our products as well, and uh, we'll end up with uh, with a network session. So, what we also have is one-on-one -on -one meetings. So, go to the link that you see now here on the screen, and and it will also uh, pop up in the chat where you can have one-on-one -on -one meetings with our partners, uh, and uh, you can uh, arrange us that uh, through this uh, link here. I definitely make uh, use of it. It's uh, from one thirty. Uh, PM um, Amsterdam time to 3:30 PM. So, so make sure you um, uh, 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 use make use of that as well. And this is one of the first of the Things Conference series. Um, we we'll have more conferences coming up. End of May, we're going to have one focused, dedicate, uh, dedic uh, dedicated to the Things Stack. Uh, we have a conference around the generic node. We'll focus on smart city and logistics later in the year. And the last one is going to be agriculture. Uh, uh, of course, before uh, we're going to have our big event, um, hopefully in Amsterdam at the end of January in 2022. So smart facilities and lower one, why it's such a perfect match? And um, where we see a massive growth in our base is in smart building, is in uh, uh, stationary devices that measure critical data points that, for instance, tell something around the compliancy of a certain process or of a certain building or uh, of a certain activity. And sometimes that's just a temperature measurement uh, of a fridge. Sometimes it measures uh, the, uh, the water flow um, uh, of um, uh, uh, the water systems in a company so that you, you can check if you're compliant according to Legionella and bacteria regulations. And the possibilities are endless. So um, the reason why we specifically decided to have a conference around it is because we see a massive traction in this segment, but also we see a massive opportunity because there's so much untapped potential and so much uh, uh, more business to be done in this segment. So just give you a, a few examples. So uh, for instance, um, Eliona is a company uh, working with the Thinks uh, Industries product. And what they do is they, uh, uh, they could, could control the fire of ex extinguishing water dampers. So they have sensors that measures these activities, measures these systems, and feed in critical data uh, to operate and to uh, monitor these systems. Um, a, a space wall is using uh, our technology to monitor the entire buildings, feed that data into the facility managers of these buildings to optimize the process. Uh, and, and we see massive efficiencies being booked there. Um, uh, Mero is um, uh, monitoring uh, how, how uh, buildings are cleaned, how the indoor spaces are there, what the, uh, um, uh, if people are uh, uh, satisfied with this process. So it's also feeding that data, in, data into the facility management operations and uh, making sure it's more efficient. Uh, with a large go-to-back-to-work movement, more and more is around indoor air quality, measuring CO2 to check if rooms are ventilated 
uh, properly, measuring the humidity, measuring the air quality. More and more, this is going to be uh, a requirement and a need by employees. And even if you look at schools and university, it's already even embedded in the law to, uh, uh, to meet certain standards. Um, uh, we have customers that use our products for uh, a cold chain kind of solution. Cool zone in this example is monitoring fridges of, uh, of all kinds of uh, academic and uh, uh, um, uh, use cases in the pharmacy industry. Um, uh, our customer compliance made is, uh, 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 has built a platform where uh, uh, fast food restaurants can use their systems to automatically generate uh, compliancy reports and smooth that process out and have a massive FTE uh, saving there. Ombi Tech is focusing on air quality in schools, making sure they are compliant, making sure that um, the kids having their lessons also having fresh air. And of course, uh, the, the, the mousetrap bike signal where um, uh, pest control is more and more uh, um, uh, regulated and, 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 and we see more and more that uh, uh, physical mousetraps like these are necessary and that uh, uh, making that more efficient by using LoRaWAN uh, heavily increases uh, uh, their operations. Um, Adonis is um, uh, using these sensors to um, um, check if all the in, uh, instructions and activities are followed to make sure that you prevent Legionella. Uh, and uh, Heatsink is a uh, initiative in New York that is measuring uh, how do landlords operate their buildings and is it according to uh, the, the rules that apply in, uh, in that state. So too many examples. That's why we have this conference. And um, yeah, and I want to switch to, uh, to, uh, uh, to Johan. Uh, we have him here with us. Hey, Johan, how are you? Hey, hi. Hello, everyone. Thanks hey. for joining. So um, Johan is going to tell a bit about the thing stack. So um, we're already three months later uh, for our last update. Um, yeah, uh, what, uh, yeah, what's happening? I'm I'm mostly going to tell what the Think Stack is is not doing. So we have a whole conference about the Think Stack, Think Stack coming up. Um, so if you want to know all the details about you know our technology, then please join there. Uh, but I think you know what Minka just mentioned, all the different use cases. Um, we can we can drive them all by using our generic uh, the Think Stack, our um, server implementation of LoRaWAN with all the integrations that uh, our customers can use to build all these amazing use cases. Um, and so that's also what we what we envision with with our platform. So we are not in the verticals. We don't build those solutions ourselves. Um, but what the ThinkStack really is is a LoRaWAN network server that can be deployed in different ways, in different configurations, and in different uh, deployment models. Um, it has an open source core, uh, so it's really developer friendly. Also, so um, uh, obviously when you build um, facility management. Um, uh, use cases, you have to build applications on top of it, you need to interact with the APIs, you need to be able to manage fleets of devices, thousands or tens of thousands of devices at the same time. Uh, and that is what we um, built the ThinkStack for. Uh, and you can use, you can deploy the ThinkStack in different ways. Um, and uh, the thing stack can be connected to a packet broker, that's our um, uh, a LoRaWAN backbone for uh, um, uh, for exchanging traffic between uh, uh, LoRaWAN networks. And I have a, a breakout session later today uh, where I explain more about Packet Broker. Uh, but what's really interesting for many facility management use cases is that uh, you may want to have your own private the thing stack deployment in the cloud, but you still want to make use of the coverage that the things network, the community network provides, or you want to contribute your coverage back to the community network or exchange traffic with other LoRaWAN networks around you. Uh, and this is what the combination of the thing stack and packet broker brings you. But more on that later today in the uh, packet broker breakout session. So, so thanks, uh, thanks, Johan, for the, this uh, this update. Uh, uh, we're going back to the to the slides here. Um, so, um, um, we did a, a quite a quite a, a lot of announcements at the previous conference. Just to give you a, a small update, um, we 
announce our partnership with the Deutsche Telekom and uh, uh, offering LTM backhaul gateway. Uh, we now have the first uh, uh, user group adopting this product, and this is this is looking very very promising. Um, we uh, launched a generic note, uh, a boilerplate. A uh, device that has all the good bits that you want in a LoRaWAN device as a reference design, including secure provisioning, including secure enclave, and including a uh, firmware over, uh, over there update and a very modular and nice uh, design. Uh, we now started the pre orders and uh, the pre qualification, which, went, uh, which, uh, which was received very well. And, and overall, based on the SCM32 WL, we see that, that, that there's also massive interest in in the reference design as well. So if you want to uh, join that, also join uh, uh, Ahmed and Orkan today uh, in their session to give you an update. Um, we launched uh, the Things certification. Um, uh, we couldn't imagine that this could be such a big success. We have now thousands and thousands of developers across the world uh, being the Things certified, um, uh, being uh, um, uh, educated about all the different things that, uh, that LoRaWAN has to, to offer. And this has been a massive success. So, um, yeah, we'll wrap it up. We'll leave it here. We have a day full of exciting content. And, and please don't forget, uh, because we now have a more smaller conference, we still have a thousand people, which is still big. But uh, this is also an opportunity to engage directly more with, uh, with, the, uh, with, the, with, the, uh, with the sponsors as well. And, uh, yeah, um, just want to say um, uh, have fun. Uh, uh, Johan, you're back here as well. So uh, if you don't want to say some final words, uh, uh, otherwise we'll we'll leave it. Uh, we'll leave yeah, it to have this. Fun. And uh, we we use the same um, interactive way of uh, with the conference. So uh, yeah, join the join the chat and um, yeah, uh, looking forward to chatting with you all. We'll enjoy see. The day. We'll see you on the platform. Uh, enjoy the day. Bye.